Hey guys, Jacob here and today I will talk to you about Amazon Selling Partner API in short Amazon SP API. I did have one video about that, uh, actually it was about Amazon MWS about one year ago. So it was basically about automating uh, orders from Amazon API and putting them to Google Sheets. And right now we'll do the same, but we will be using uh, the new API. So let me show you everything on the screen right now. So this is uh, their main page. So it's called, uh, yeah, Selling Partner API. And here you have a question, uh, frequently asked questions with the answers, of course, right? So here you can see uh, what is the difference between uh, MWS and the, uh, the new SP API. And uh, yeah, basically the MWS uh, basically was really old and all of the responses were in a XML format and the new one is basically a JSON based REST API uh, which is a standard nowadays right the difference is also with authentication and uh, yeah there are basically a couple of the difference and uh, yeah we can uh, actually um, click here and see all of the documentation but we before we go through that I want to show you the final results so here we are in my Google Sheets and as you see I could pull easily uh, orders from the API so now let's go to uh, documentation so basically uh, yeah it's really tough to use it mm, as you see there's almost 600 issues on a github so this documentation is not really clear so i decided also to create a video about that to help you a little bit understand how to connect it and what can you do with with it uh, so when you are on the main page of documentation uh, basically what you need to uh, click is please see the selling partner api developer guide you need to click here and this is actually quite okay but you really need to go through it point by point really everything very read everything very slow once you do it you'll be you can successfully actually connect to the api right now uh basically i'll summarize what i did the steps and then we'll connect to the api uh, and we will uh basically gather the orders and connect to the google spreadsheets and put them there and this will be a python script also easily uh you can actually check on a github the whole source code from this video so let's do it right now so uh basically in order to connect uh you need to get familiar with the terminology and you need to go through a few points here so regarding terminology uh there are a few words which you may be interested in for example private application public application we'll just create a private in our case and then yeah here you can uh, understand what is the selling partner API about, what are the endpoints, because depending uh, what is your selling partner account, where is it based, you can, you'll need to use different endpoint, right? It's also related to AWS reg region. So for example, I'm in Europe and we'll use this one and it's in uh, Europe West one. Then uh, there are marketplaces values, marketplace IDs. So for example, if you are a seller in Poland, you will need to use the one. In order to gather your uh, orders, you will need to basically uh, use this ID and so on. And yeah, you need to register as a developer. So if you are a partner, uh, right? If you are a seller, you need to register as a developer. You need to develop the app. And I will show you how to uh, how actually looks like this already uh, once you are registered. Um, and we'll also go through this IAM policies because it's a little, little bit tough. Uh, because you need to have basically two things. You need to have an AWS account with IAM and the roles and policies and stuff like this. And you need to have uh, an app as a seller and a selling partner application. And you need to connect those two. Once you do that, you can finally uh, use their API, which is yeah quite a tough process. But uh, trust me, guys. Is doable if you really follow each step in this tutorial. Here, AWS account, you need to create one, then you need to create an IAM user. We really need to go each step one by one. Uh, you need to create an IAM role, which is this. I will show you this in a moment. Um, so, this is actually an IAM policy. Then you need to create an IAM role and you need to attach it uh, one to another. Then you need to create a security token service policy. Uh, you need to, sorry, add the security token service policy to this actually. Uh, I am user and then you need to register your application. So first let's go to uh, 
let's go here. I'll show you those things. So as you see, first let's let me show you your roles. Uh, I created the role here. It's called Selling Partner API role. And if you see the policy uh, in a, in a JSON, it's literally the same, which is from the documentation. So wait, let me put it here. So this is the policy which uh, which needs to be created. As you see, it's literally the same. Okay, then the I am role, let's go to roles. You can also see that I have this role, right? And uh, once I click it, basically the policy is attached to that. And then this uh, security token uh, thing, you need to go to users, to click on my user. And then in the permissions, you will see the permission called uh, STS, assume role. And once you have all of that, you need to register application. So going to uh, going to the actually developer central, you are uh, in here in a developer console, you'll be able to create the new application. All right, basically, so what's the most important uh, from here is that you need to create a new app, name it, right? Then you will gather the app ID, you will gather the IMRN and the LWA credentials. Once you download them, basically, I'll show you later on in the script, we'll all use of them. So most important thing is that I am ERN is it's it's connected to the AWS uh, I am role, which we uh, basically created before. Once you have all of that attached, and connected to each other, you can finally have access to API and we'll uh, right now basically go to the coding app. Let's get back for here for a second. So basically the credentials which I showed you in Amazon, Amazon seller in a, uh, a moment before, it's all basically described here. So please also just read through this as well. And now the most important thing before coding, right, is how, how do we authorize uh, app so basically if you want to do it by yourself then you can uh, actually follow the tutorial here which is connect to selling partner api and you can manage to do all of that uh, via postman they tell you how to do a request uh, what is the response uh, and so on then how to construct a selling partner uh, api url how to add the headers and then uh, sign the request. And this is the most complex part, in my opinion, that you need to sign the request every time. That's why I actually decided to go with the third party uh, API. So I just Googled Python, Python SP API. And there's a very nice library for this, which we'll be using in this video. Go and click on the homepage, then it will give you actually a repository on GitHub. And yeah, it's very nice and uh, we'll be using this in the app. So right now let's go to the code. Okay, so there are a few things to do. The first one will be to uh, install the Python virtual environment together with the library. Uh, so the Python Amazon SP API. So I'll just use pipen for this instead. And now let's create two files, script.py and const.py. We can use our favorite editor. I will use uh, Visual Studio Code. And now let's go to the documentation and see how we can connect to uh, SP API. So here, there's an example, how to use that. Uh, but I would rather go to documentation. There's documentation, you can click here. So there's an installation. And here they will tell you what exactly do we need, what credentials. And as you see, all of those are the basically the ones which we already covered before and we'll just need to use all of them. I'll prepare the dot end of dot example for you. So basically you'll know what is the start, what exactly, how it starts, uh, which variables, which one, because it can cause a lot of troubles. I had it by myself and yeah, I think it will help you a lot. And now for a method of authentication, I will use basically this one from code. So basically we'll 
create a dictionary with all of those credentials and later on we will use it. So for example, here we'll use order API and we'll pass the credential and yeah, we'll use the command, uh, we'll use the function to get order. So let's do it. But before that, also let's connect to the Google Sheets uh, very quickly. So in order to connect to Google Sheets, you need to go to a Google Cloud Platform. Once you're on a console, uh, you need to create a new project. Let's call it YouTube Tutorial Amazon SP API. It's being created here. Once it's created, let's select it. Let's select this. And now all we need to do is we need to enable the Google Spreadsheet API. And now you need to create credentials to connect to a Google Spreadsheet. You need to click create credentials, service account, so you are actually enabled to programmatically uh, connect. Okay, let's uh, click create and continue. We can click, give a owner. Done. And once you have it, you need to download those credentials. So you need to go to keys, add key, create a new key with the JSON. And this will download the actual key which we can use in the project. I'll put my keys in the project and I'll rename the file. Keys.json. And now let's create a Google spreadsheet so we can actually connect everything. Okay, so we have a new spreadsheet. Let's name it Amazon. The actual sheet, let's also call Amazon or orders. And now what's very important, we need to do two things. The first one is to share this with actually email from IAM. So this is your programmatic user. You need to share it. We can do editor, that's the first thing. And the second thing is that each Google spreadsheet they has unique uh, ID. We need to get this ID and we need to also put it to our uh, .env. So let's copy it and let's put it as well. So I'll just create a .env file right now. Now I'll put all of my credentials in here. All right, so once you have all of your credentials ready in the dot and file, let's build the rest. So first let's go to cons.py so we can read all of the credentials. For this we'll need to uh, install one dependency called python.env. We'll also need OAuth2 client and also gspread to connect to the Google Sheets. Now let's code uh, reading all of the credentials. Okay, once we have all of that, let's get actually to the meat of this uh, video and create a whole Python script. All right, so those are the imports which we'll be using and now let's create the first class which is actually responsible for Google Sheets and integration with it. It's actually the same uh, class as we used in the previous video when I was uh, talking to you about um, describing the MWS connection. Okay, so this is a Google class, uh, Google Sheet class. Basically, it's mostly just for a connection, right? So we can connect uh, with our spreadsheet. Uh, then we are getting the actually Google Sheet object. Uh, we are writing the header if it doesn't exist to the whole thing. And then we are appending the rows always in the end. Okay, so this is our helping uh, data class Amazon order. This will hold actually uh, objects uh, of uh, Amazon orders. And this is the header, which is basically one to one. Uh, the fields are literally the same from here. And now let's just create the Amazon script class. So the main class, which will uh, connect all of those things that put, pull the data from Amazon API and put them to Google spreadsheets.
So this is the whole script. Now uh, let me just tell you what it does. So we have the Amazon script, right? And in the function we are creating the Google Sheet object. Writing the header this doesn't exist, and then we are executing orders data. So it pulls the object, uh, the orders, and put it to the Google Sheets, which we just put here. So this is the function. First, we pull all of the orders in a special format. So let's just go to this function here. So we are connecting to the Amazon. Uh, as Amazon SP API here, we're putting all of the credentials. Then we are using the order API uh, from the marketplace, in our case, Italy. And then uh, we are converting the response to actually a list. So we are using, we are going through a whole payload of the orders. We are appending each order and uh, we are actually getting all, only the data which is interested for us. So here, right, then we are getting it all back here to orders data and we are, are we are changing this to the actual list so it's the same length as the header and therefore all of the data is in the correct order and we are appending the rows in the google sheets and basically that's it so let's uh, execute this right now and let's see if it works uh, let's go back to the so as you see our uh, sheet is empty i'll put it on a half of the screen and now let's execute it Python script. Oh, of course, uh, I did a mistake. All of the things should be uh, one tap here. So let's try it again. And I did a small typo here as well. It's a worksheet name, of course. And now, as you see, all of the headers are here and all of the orders are also here. So this is it, our script is working. Of course, uh, you can do a lot of modifications to it. That's like, uh, <laughs> basically it's all just your imagination. And yeah, guys, if you need any help with this, just uh, please write me in comment. Also, uh, this is basically kind of the job which we do in our agency. Delta Logic, you can go to our website, deltalogic.com, uh, send us an email at uh, contact at deltalogic.com. Also, if you are interested in working with the Amazon cases or automating uh, different APIs, different projects, uh, then yeah, let us know. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Uh, again, the repository is in uh, description. Please subscribe to the channel, like, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>